let's continue with mirror. Before importing, let me tell you, it's always worth it to run an image through Squid to make it as straight as possible and to prepare it for mirror. You have editing um, possibilities inside mirror, but I do still recommend running an image just briefly through Squid. So let's take for this example, this one at the top, that's the image that we want to edit. Let's just run it really quickly through Squid. Some vertical correction, we're nearly there, some leveling, go to the barrel distortion just a tiny bit, a little bit more vertical, and this is about right. I don't want to make more, I just want to prepare it for mirror. Now by tapping the export button, you can now send it into mirror. And now Screwit is sending it to mirror. You now are in a completely new app. This one is working a little differently. We have an all touch interface. So when you swipe the bottom menu, <laughs> see it is rotating. So just be sure that it's not a swipe of menu at the bottom. Full reset at first. And now you've got a completely new filter set. Some are really similar to the ones in Screwit and some are new like this one here. This one is the actual bread and butter from mirror. This one is mirroring the size of the image. So you can see as the red is indicating the right side is now mirrored. So mirror took the left side of the image and flipped it and copied it to the right side. And from here, I can also by swiping, edit it. I can um, get it closer together or more far away or closer together. It depends that you just have to touch one side of it or like the other side depends on what kind of look illusion you want to have. You can also, like if I tap on before and after here, you can also mirror it the other way. If you want to reset such an icon, I hope I'm not too fast here, but we still have one more filter. If you want to reset um, this function, you just tap and hold the icon and now you've reset the edited state of the given filter. This one is, I'm mirroring top and bottom. You can see left and right, and this one is top and bottom. So when I first tap it, it's copying the top part to the bottom. If I tap it once again, I'm copying the bottom part to the top, and I copy it again, and the whole image is being mirrored. So this one, this is what mirror is all about. It's all about really nice mirror. Um, it's about some manipulation or also creating complete new compositions. It's really nice and it's really worth just spending some time and finding out what these filters do. Now let's continue with the editing. I would just want to edit and flip the left side to the right and now just move it a little bit more to the side. Let's see where the squares are nice and easy. I think I'm already really fine here. And this one has created a complete new image from this one to this one. And I got this illusion of a super straight facade and geometrically, and it really looks like photorealistic. It's really nice. From here, you can also merge the state, how you can do and screw it, or you can do some kind of brief um, perspective correction still. But this one is for the next image because it's gonna be more visible. This one is just for showing you what mirror is actually doing. It is mirroring the sides and that you can move the sides and also re realign everything. Right. All right. Next image is going to be a little bit more into detail about perspective correction, but this is it so far. I really like the results. Can't wait to see what you guys are going to be doing with it. With this second image, I want to show you how powerful mirror really is. You may be thinking like, I don't really need this, but it's fun playing around. And once you've got a couple images in, you really start finding new nuances to this app, which is going to make it real fun. So I want to, edit this nice paragraph by simply flipping the left side to the right. So you can see now it really looks clumsy and you don't know where to go from here, but I can tap and swipe and make the distance bigger from the left and right. And you can see it now starts looking like something. And also the tower at the, um, in the middle, everything, it doesn't look that bad anymore. But if I zoom in, you see again, straight lines and double towers, This um, gives away the illusion of something being really mirrored. But this is why we have perspective correction filters inside mirror. So I can now, by tapping the horizontal correction filter, just swipe and see, like, even correct the perspective of the sides while being inside mirror to really generate really nice and nearly perfect illusions of perfectly compos um, composed and symmetrical images. 
So if you zoom in, you see that the tower is, I ate up the tower by editing it, but no worries, we can get it out because here comes the ratio filter into play. It's this beast in the middle. You have to think like um, by tapping and holding one of the four sides. So you've got the lower side, the right side, the left side and the top side. You can stretch the image. Stretch and also because you've mirrored, you're just not stretching the whole image, but you're stretching a half. So now this whole edited part, if you zoom in, you can see how you can just stretch it and really nicely align the middle of it. And there we go. A perfect mirrored image, a composition. And if you do some clone stamping in the clouds, nobody will find out so easily that it's going to be a photo manipulation. It's it's super nice, play around with it. I highly recommend this tool and feature. Now before, this is a before, it's already a decent nice image, but this one is giving it this, this nice catchy feeling along at the bottom to make it nice and centered. So there we go, a really nice example of what Mirror can do. This is going to be our third Mirror image and I'm just gonna be speeding up a little bit of the workflow. So I'm gonna swipe the bottom menu, just to straighten it up a little. I'm gonna tap on um, the merging so I'm going to have like a new flat image. Now I can mirror the sides. So you see the effect before and after already. Now by tapping the ratio button, I just going to make the staircase in the middle a little bit smaller. Now I can merge it again to have a new solid. You can see this one is already looking picture perfect. This one is like, it's been shot that way. It's left and right. It's perfect. It's for you symmetry guys. Um, and guys out there, it's perfect. But you could go even more crazy with it. So by tapping, you can also like, you know, mirror the bottom and the top and do something more spaceshipy out there and go into this direction. And now if you even wanna go further, you can now also like swipe it. I know it looks crazy, but wait, 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 hear me out. You can rotate it, for example, to 45 degrees, merge it again, and now flip it again. So now I've got like this alien-like something, or you can merge it again and flip it again and flip it again and flip it again. You see, you see where we're coming from. You see what I've done. I've been just playing around with this app and this. I have, this is the first edit. This is the first take, I promise. So if I go back and forth, this is the before, this is the after. You don't have to go with this crazy, but you can. And this is the nice thing. It, there's like unlimited boundaries. Try it, mirror, try it out and have fun with it, right? From just simple swipes, of a perfect nice symmetrical shot like this one to another really easy simple swipes to something completely like staircases which do meet each other in the middle this is all featured inside this app and i can't wait to see these results let me just quickly finish this one simple taps and that's it that's mirror in a nutshell have fun enjoy and try it out